Hi everyone, in this video we will compare two tools to do backups on Linux. One is rsync and the other one is btrfs send and receive. It's very easy to have a data loss, for instance if you save a big image on GIMP and you apply another effect at the same time, you have a good chance to have a corrupted image and only a backup can help you to have a not damaged file back. In this video, we will compare those tools in some real-world use cases. Let's do the test with BTRFS. Here we have BTRFS source and here is the destination, which is empty. And now we will generate the first read-only snapshot and then we will send it to the destination. Uh, this uh, snapshot is uh, a little bit uh, particular because uh, it's full and uh, the other ones uh, will be uh, just uh, partial snapshots. So I, as you can see here we have uh, our snapshot which is called uh, first sync. And uh, when uh, the command uh, is over, we will have uh, the full uh, directory here. Okay, it took uh, almost uh, 50 seconds. And uh, now we try to do a small change. So inside the, the Linux directory, I will take uh, the uh, credits and uh, I will do just uh, a small change so small change and I save and now I run this command which is uh, slightly different because uh, as you can see we use uh, btrfs send dash p so this is just an incremental change let's try this and uh, it's done, it took uh, uh, 0 0.06 seconds and uh, we, we can check it, so inside the small change uh, Linux directory and uh, the same snapshot is also available in uh, the uh, local source directory. Now let's try another test just to uh, rename the folder in uh, renamed and uh, we do another incremental snapshot. Uh, this time we use uh, the uh, small change as uh, first uh, snapshot and uh, rename dear as uh, second. So we generate the rename dear snapshot and we send the incremental changes uh, to the destination. And uh, it took 0 0.07 seconds. So let's check it. We have the renamed folder and here we still have the folder with the old name. Now let's try to add a new file in our BTRFS source, which is an ISO of 1 gigabyte and 8, this one. And we try to do another snapshot. So this is uh, the command, we generate uh, the fourth uh, snapshot uh, using uh, the third uh, snapshot. Okay, it's done in 15 seconds. So uh, in uh, the third snapshot we don't have the ISO and here we have the ISO. Now we remove this ISO and we try to do another snapshot. So using the uh, big file snapshot, we generate another snapshot uh, without this ISO. Okay, it's uh, very fast, 0 0.09 seconds. So in uh, BTRFS, we have uh, this uh, intermediate state of the, our file system. But uh, the most interesting thing is that we aren't uh, wasting uh, any space. 
So if we do uh, properties, we are using just three uh, uh, gigabyte. But uh, if we sum the files contained in uh, all the states, we uh, get another number because here we are counting uh, the files uh, without uh, considering uh, the BTRFS behavior. So here it, it's uh, 6.9 gigabyte, but uh, the reality is that uh, we are using just uh, 3 gigabyte uh, of space because uh, BTRFS is uh, very smart uh, and uh, if uh, the states uh, uh, share some files, uh, it doesn't take uh, new space in the file system. Okay, now it's uh, the same situation of the test before, but we are in the XT4 source uh, directory and uh, we'll, we'll do the first uh, sync with the rsync command. Okay, now we have uh, 14 seconds and now we'll do the same uh, test. So we will go inside of the Linux folder and uh, we'll do a small change. Change, okay, save. And uh, I will uh, uh, rerun the same command again. Okay, one second and 47. Let's check in the other file system. And we have our change in the file. And now we try to rename this directory. And we run once again the command. Okay, we have the real 23 seconds. Okay, another test. I try to add a big file and I saw about Lubuntu. Okay, and I run again the command to see how long it takes. Okay, it's here and it's done in 22 seconds. Now let's try to remove this uh, big file. And it's done in uh, one second and 77. And you, which tools do you use to do the backups? Leave me a comment. Bye.